Hi. Yes, I've got that solar freaking roadway smile again. <laughs> Thank you to all the viewers who pointed out uh, yet another epic failure <laughs> in solar freaking roadways, or in this case, solar freaking bikeways in the Netherlands, the nether regions. Hi to all my viewers in the nether regions. Solar bike path fails to meet electricity targets. Again. Golf clap. Golf clap. <sighs> Who could have predicted it? Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else with a functioning brain <laughs> who could run the numbers on this thing. And to realize that putting solar panels on the ground and then riding over them or driving over them is just a <laughs> fundamentally stupid idea. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for everyone who set this in. I got inundated with as soon as this hit the news. Um, it's absolutely no surprise whatsoever. Now, as it turns out, this is not the uh, the solar road that I actually uh, did <laughs> that debunked uh, back in uh, video 681. And in another video here, 743, we actually analyzed the results um, from that solar road uh, trial. And here a viewer actually sent in a piece of that solar road because it absolutely fell to pieces, <laughs> literally. Um, and I have a piece from that and I actually tested um, how bad this solar road material was. And this is a, a new cycle lane, well, relatively new compared to that old solar road one uh, if in this unpronounceable um, <laughs> suburb, sorry, in uh, Urich <laughs> province. Um, it, was, uh, it made world news when it opened the Herald as the longest solar bike path in the world. And um, it, yeah, it was not good news from day one. Here's another article, twice good news on second anniversary of the solar bike path. Um, here is the world's longest solar uh, cycle way and it's celebrated its second birthday. So on July 14th, it's been working for for uh, two years here, it still generates electricity, so yay, thumbs up, it still works. Um, a cursory inspection revealed no visible uh, damage, so the solar cycle path still works. <laughs> so much for the good news. The electricity yield, instead of the 274 megawatt hours uh, that was displayed, they uh, showed only 71 megawatt hours on July 15, barely 26% of the intended yield. <laughs> More worrying is that the cycle path produced almost as much power in two years as one year. This is despite the major and undoubtedly cost costly repair operation, yeah, repair operation in the summer of 2022. Reconnecting half the modules therefore seems to have had no effect. <laughs> so that apparently they put them in, um, in incorrectly con connected modules, but even when they fixed it up, it, it looks like it's had, it's had no effect. That means either that the wiring still leaves something to be desired or that the degradation of the solar cells is extremely large or a combination of both. It's the degradation. If you've seen my video over here, seen the actual material here, it's just... <laughs> When you put that over at the solar panel, it's just ridiculous. Like, uh, this one was from the solar road, so I don't know if it's the exact same material, but when you put a hardened material surface, uh, that just gets dirt and grime from all the tires and every, uh, you know, all the other crap, right, from your solar cycle path, of course you're going to get that sort of output. And this is not new information. Here's an article from 2022, <laughs> right? 28.7% of the estimated annual yield. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's just a joke. Yeah, half of the solar panels <laughs> on the solar cycle path have never been connected. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, no, even after they corrected that, unbelievable. So the original article is here and they actually have a video. It is in Dutch though, but I will play it. Play it. 10% van all onze provinciale verlichting kunnen wij opwekken met dit zonnefietspot. Dat is ongeveer een kwart van wat de boog was. Het was het idee dat ongeveer voor 40 huishoudens energie zou opgewekt worden, elk tijd. I don't know what this is saying. Is saying. Sorry, Sorry no idea. Mistake. Dutch viewers, please leave it down below. For the second year in a row, it's only produced 26% of what was estimated. <laughs> it's 350 meters long and the panels are cast in concrete, so they're not easy to replace. <laughs> At the opening, they assumed that the path would generate 137 megawatt hours per year. The yield was already unfeasible. We got stuck at 36 megawatts, 27%. A year later, the yield dropped <laughs> even further by 26%. <laughs> 
This person suspects another cause. Solar panels must be smooth and always slanted to catch as much sun as possible. <laughs> Cycle paths are flat and must be non-slip, otherwise you will slip on them. A lot of dirt remains in them that blocks the sunlight. <laughs> you think? <laughs> of course. It is also possible that solar seals will deteriorate rapidly, uh, this person writes on their website, which is the one that we uh, saw over here. Um, the efficiency of solar cells normally decreases by about 0.6 to 0.7 percent per year, but in this case it would have gone much further. Yeah. <laughs> the solar cycle path was built as a pilot project for three years and will therefore be there until June next year, until the province uh, they will decide whether or not there's a follow-up. <laughs> We already knew the solar the freaking roadways, the Netherlands, the epic failure, the famous failure of Solar Road. Earlier in 2018, a test was done with solar panels in a motorway. The project was stopped early because the solar panels were not resistant to heavy trucks and the cars that drove over them. <laughs> you think? <laughs> For this reason, it was decided to switch to a trial with a cycle passer. <laughs> Driving over solar panels in cars is not a good idea. I know, we'll just drive over them in bikes instead of just putting them above the sun and then cycling under them. It could stop. It's the longest solar panel cycle path in the world. In 2014, uh, Cremini had the first in the with the solar path. That was the solar solar road one. That was that was also a test. The results have not been disclosed. Yes, they have. I analyzed the actual results. They did publish the results and I analyzed them here. Rooftop solar is twice the output. Twice the output. That's not factoring in into cost, which is like five times more, right? So it's like <laughs> half the output for five times more, right? It, we already knew solar cycleways were an epic fire and not just in some other country, it was in the Netherlands as well. Yet they did it again. Another province did it again. I think there's like three of them isn't there? It's just, of course it's going to fail. And then we, I did another fail, 12, uh, video 1234, more epic solar roadways uh, fails. And this is the solar road. This is what it ended up being. They ended up just uh, covering over the thing and ripping it up or whatever. It's, it's just an absolute joke. So the Dutch knew this, but they went ahead anyway. And in July 15, here it is, 2021, the world's longest solar panel bike path. You know, here's all the politicians coming out. Wank, wank, wank. Look at us. Aren't we fantastic? And uh, no, they already knew it was an epic fire and they pissed away. Like what, what was it? One and a half million euros or something on this boondoggle. And in 2022 here, after they replaced uh, those modules and corrected the installation, um, it was painfully large difference in appearance and therefore almost certainly also in light transmission as well on the rough and glass plates above the solar panels with the coding. See inserted tweet below. Yeah, so here's a tweet from uh, Wattis Durzum on uh, Twitter. On the left is the Solar Road NL module after 10 months of use. On the right is the fresh correctly installed. This is after 10 months of use on this right here. Look, look at it. <laughs> it's a wonder they got anything out of this. Ah, oh, this is just a joke. I totally agree. Replacing the solar uh, path modules with construction defects has not yet been completed and is no longer really necessary for the learning objectives of the pilot. It is clear that even with all panels in operation, the project will achieve no more than half of the intended yield each year. Almost certainly due to the great success at uh, the provinces of North and South Holland have also projected with solar cycleways in their pipelines. Exactly. I analysed the results. We actually got the results. It, it's half the output. <laughs> And just putting solar panels on the roof or putting them above the cycle way <laughs> like, like they did in South Korea. So there you go. It was supposed to produce this line here <laughs> and we only got this out of it. <laughs> and they're just, it's just going to get worse and worse. It's just, come on. Entirely predictable. 100% predictable. But it's produced almost certainly more solar power than any other bike path. <laughs> Come on. And this guy on his website has gone through. He could not actually find install capacity of the bike path. Um, it's data that they don't want to share. But uh, from, from the results like and comparisons of regular like square area, which I've done in my uh, previous videos, yeah, 60% um, less than the estimated at 200 kilowatts uh, peak. This amounts to only 275 full load hours, 70% less yield than regular solar panels with the same capacity. 70% less. <laughs> it's just a joke.
So this installation of the solar road, it cost 1.3 million euros. Uh, not an outrageous amount for a pilot. Yeah, you know, true. But <laughs> we already knew that the original solar road installation was a complete and epic failure and waste of money. Uh, just under 11,000 euros per module. But the modules are quite large, so they drop them in. I've showed photos. They drop them in with a, like a big crane thing and strap and, you know, because they're a big concrete module. Um, <laughs> is 4,000 euros per running meter. A conventional Conventional cycle path uh, costs around 700 euros per linear meter. So he estimates that it will then take 135 to 400 years for the solar cycle path to earn back its additional cost. <laughs> <laughs> Again, entirely predictable. So I'll link in Chi's uh, 10 Bricks article uh, down below because it's excellent. It goes, he's analysed all the data here on uh, through the different installations and over time and everything. So fantastic uh, effort there. Hats off. So I, come on. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> Does this surprise anyone? This is like the second or third installation in the Netherlands and they still don't get it. And they're still going to keep, oh, we'll, we'll wait until the study's finished. To, we already had in the original solar road installation in wherever that was, um, the 70 metre one, which cost 3 million euros for 70 metres. So the cost did come down. Now it's 300 metres for 1.3 million euros. A oh, bargain, but just come on. This is what I estimated. Anyone could estimate this on a whiteboard with a few simple calculations. The roof is four times more efficient for half the cost, <laughs> right? That's rooftop solar of the same area is four times more efficient for half the cost. Like, just no. And we're seeing the results exactly as predicted, or even worse than um, predicted, because I was quite generous in my uh, calculations and everything else. It's just an absolute joke. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> put your solar panels above the cycle way. <laughs> Don't put them down on the ground where they're just going to get the dirt and the grime and the wear and the tear. And it's just, no, come on. Yes, it's time for politicians to put solar panels next to the main roads or on top of the cycle paths, on roofs and also open fields, parking lots, put them on top of the parking lots. Vote for politicians who are not distracted by innovations that have long ceased to be innovative. And that's the point. He links it in here, right? All of these innovations, solar power from bike and, and roadways, right? Windmills without blades, <laughs> energy generating pavement tiles, right? I've done videos on the pave gen, the footstep pave gen one. I've done a video on that. Also the paving tiles, whatever. I don't know. I've done so many bloody videos on these. Uh, thorium molten salt reactors, the blockchain uh, for the stage. What? I don't know what that is, but blue energy from river water flowing into the sea. Electricity from living plants. Yeah, you can generate a huge amount from that. Not every little bit helps and that's the point like I get this in the comments all the time people saying oh but you know like if you get a little bit from here and a little bit from there and you cover this like like as long as we cover all the area no it's not about that it's been about and not only cost effective but also uh, in effective in terms of embodied energy you've got to produce all these massive concrete solar cycleways, and then they don't last very long. You've got to, then you've got to renew them and just the payback, not only in terms of cost, but also manufacturing the materials that go into making all this boondoggle. Okay, just, just stop it. Do it in the most efficient way possible, which is rooftop solar, commercial solar farms, put in on, on top of parking lots, just really optimized cost and embodied energy optimized solar panels. Just stop this bullshit of putting them on the roads and cycleways. And I did like, how many videos do I have to do? This is another one that gets added to my solar roadways playlist and solar cycle waves, you know, solar freaking railways, which they just cancelled, by the way. I don't think I did an update video on that. Yeah, they actually came to their sensors and cancelled that solar freaking railways to put solar panels on the train tracks. And <laughs> but our good friends, the Brewshaws, the solar freaking roadways, they're still doing the grift. They're still getting the government teat, just moo, sucking on that government teat, and they're still going. Good on them. The grift is real 18 years later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, come on, just stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> 
anyway, I'll just keep doing these videos. It just keeps sending me links to all this crap and I'll just keep laughing at them. <laughs> Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.